grateful then for embarking in this beautiful journey towards your consecration to St. Joseph. Hi, I'm Andrea, I'm one of the Fraternals here in Sydney, and I've been asked to speak to you about St. Joseph, Guardian of Virgins. If we think about it, God entrusted St. Joseph with the care of Jesus, the only begotten Son of God, and of Mary, the one we know with the title Virgin Mary. Jesus is virginity itself, purity itself. From the letter to the Hebrews, we know that he was holy, innocent, and defiled. He's God. We can say he's the virgin par excellence. And what can we say about Mary? The name she gave of herself to Bernard that endured was the Immaculate Conception. That name inspired and Maximilian Kolbe's lifelong reflections on who she was. Who are you, Immaculate Conception? And he beautifully explains to us that there are two Immaculate Conceptions. The uncreated Immaculate Conception, which is the Holy Spirit who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who is God, and Mary, the spouse of the Holy Spirit, who was like any human spouse will take the name of her spouse. So she's called by his name. Her virginity, her purity, speaks to us about the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, the indwelling of God in her, and that profound union between Mary and God. But what about St. Joseph? When we think about it, before being the guardian of Jesus and Mary. He was the guardian of his own virginity. There's a beautiful tradition that tells us that he made a vow of chastity when he was 12. And we also know that he always has a, a lily-like flower in his, yeah, in the statues and the paintings. And that comes from that same tradition that tells us that when Mary was to be betrothed, the priest in the temple calls, calls some men and to choose who was to, to marry her, they gave each one of them a branch. And when the turn of St. Joseph came, that branch flourished, blossomed, as a sign of God, like as a sign that God has cho had chosen him to be Mary's spouse. But this title of St. Joseph, Guardian of Virgins, does not exclude anyone. Because although not everyone is a virgin, by extension of the definition of Virgo, virgin, we can talk of St. Joseph, a guardian of the pure. To him we can ask to guard our own purity. And to him we can entrust the purity of people we love. Parents can entrust the purity of their children, for example. Purity is a call for everyone. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. Jesus tells us in the Beatitude. But what if I am not pure, but still I desire to see God? I desire to be one with him. That's when we can ask for St. Joseph for his help, for his intercession. And to he can remind us that purity is a gift from God. And in any case, uh, we can always ask God for that gift. David gives us much hope. We know in the, in the Psalm Miserere, in Psalm 50, 51, when he tells us about uh, after his great sin, he turns to God and said, O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be white, uh, whiter than snow. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. So in any case, always we can go back to St. Joseph so that he can remind us that we can ask God to, make, to give us a pure heart, to create for us a pure heart. St. Joseph, guardian of virgins, pray for us.